Saffron and cardamom junket. Junket is a dessert you will never see on the supermarket shelf because it is so fragile. It is basically curds and whey mixed together and um, if it goes in any form of transit it will break up and it will not look very attractive at all. But you can make it at home and make it rather easily. I'm doing this as a bit of an homage to my uh, Indian friends or Indian diaspora friends because I'm using uh, Kashmiri saffron and cardamom in this, as well as a little bit of um, <clears throat> vanilla. Other ingredients, you'll need some sugar, you'll need some milk. I'm using an organic whole milk here, I bought that from a local shop. And you're going to need some rennet and um, there are two kinds really. There's a vegetarian rennet, people use to make vegetarian cheese, and there's an animal based rennet. Okay, I, I prefer to use the animal rennet because I get great results every time. However, I do fall back sometimes and use the vegetarian rennet on occasion. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is take about a third of the milk and get it hot. And you can do all this in one bowl so it doesn't really uh, cause a lot of washing up. So I'll get that hot and then we'll get back to you. Okay, uh, you can use cardamom powder if you've got it. But uh, cardamom comes in these, this is green cardamom and you'll need to use green cardamom. And it normally comes in little pods. But if you split those pods open, if you split three of them open, you'll end up with about that many cardamom seeds. Now I want to grind that down to a fine powder and uh, I'll do that with a little bit of sugar as well. So get it down to a fine powder. So I've got that pretty much down to a fine powder. And what I'm going to do at this moment is I'm going to put in a little bit of saffron into there and use the good stuff if you can get it. I ordered this online from the Spice Company and it's rather good. Right. So a couple of strands in there, just a little pinch and I'll get that broken up along with the rest. <coughs> I'll also be adding a little bit of saffron as a decoration at the end. Saffron gives a beautiful colour and it's the stigmata of um, an autumn flower in crocus and each one is hand picked, they're all hand picked and uh, it's why it's such a relatively expensive spice but um, a little goes a very long way with saffron, so it doesn't work out that expensive to use. So there we go. So I've got cardamom sugar and a bit of saffron in there. Alright, so we managed to get our milk hot. I'm going to put in the contents of my spice and sugar mix and stir that in. It's not one nut, it's valuable stuff. And also I want to put in about one, two tablespoons of sugar. I don't use white sugar generally. I just use that raw cane sugar. Right. And then I'll give that a stir. It's already looking rather attractive with that uh, saffron in it. And that's the reason we get it hot. The other reason is we need to get that to round about 37, 38 degrees Celsius, which is around about 98 Fahrenheit. In other words, it's, it's body, human body temperature. 
ambient human body temperature and that's the perfect temperature for setting the rennet so you'll need some form of temperature reading device I, I use this uh, thing so I'm going to top that up now with the rest of the milk and I'll stir that in to make it even and then I'm going to take a reading on it right that's only 29 so I need to get the temperature up on that a little bit so I'll stick the hole in the microwave for a few more seconds and then we'll get back to you okay so let's have a look now that's reading 37 so that's really good let's give it a stir 38 that's all right so that's bang on that's right at the temperature we want it to be and then I'm just going to put in some rennet and I'm going to want oh one thing I did neglect to put in was my vanilla so I'm just going to put in a couple of drops of vanilla I'll make sure that's stirred in just a couple of drops we don't want it to be a vanilla pudding per se but um, we do want it to have a little bit of vanilla flavor in it so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to measure in about a teaspoon of my rennet and this is where you have to keep it you stir it in and then you have to keep it still so you have to leave it alone for a few minutes until it sets because set it will and that's the as the rennet does its work uh, rennet is used in making cheese as I've said and um, it's rather fragile when it's in this in this form so that's why it just doesn't travel it, it, it's no good for tr transit it's no good for packaging it doesn't suit modern warehousing and distribution at all so you'll never ever see this dessert outside uh, of the home or perhaps some of the finer restaurants so we'll wait for that to set and then we'll get back to you if you don't like the bubbles on top you can spray it with um, a, a little bit of vodka which will take the bubbles away but uh, they don't really bother me at all as soon as you've stirred in the rennet you can actually decant it quickly into smaller pots for serving if you wish I'm I'm serving this as a whole bowl of pud but um, you can um, as soon as you stir in the rennet then quickly just transfer it to individual pots okay after a couple of minutes you'll see it's become kind of jellyfied it's um, starting to set don't shake it too much otherwise it will break up all I'm going to do now is just decorate that with a little bit more saffron on top. Just a little because it is expensive. And all I need to do now then is put a skin over that and chill it. And we'll come back and do a taste test a little later on. So there it is about an hour or so later. Nicely chilled. And as you see, it's got sort of a like jelly or jello, as you may call it. So I think this is going to deserve a little taste. That's how we go. And as you see, look, um, it's probably not what you expect. It's not yogurty. It's um, delicate, I would say. Hmm. Oh. That is absolutely gorgeous and if you want to know what it tastes like you're gonna to have to make it I'm rather pleased with that <laughs>
Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.